Hey guys, welcome to another game. This is game 10, and we're skipping game 9. It was a draw. And in this game, it's white to move. And I'm going to give you a few choices in this position, and I want you to decide which one you prefer. It's a very complicated position. Black is attacking, and white is attacking. Here are your three choices. Bishop takes h6, d4, or g5. Which move do you prefer? Pause your video, work it out, spend five to ten minutes, I'd say, and try to evaluate. I mean, even you can even rank them in order if you'd like. And if you're not done, I'm going to show the answer now. So, it's a funny position. What's funny about it is the game ended in one move. And if you guys spent some time, you maybe figured out what happened. It, it, it's a little tricky, and I can see why Steinitz missed this. White is going for the attack, black is going for the attack, like I just said. It looks like we're just mindlessly attacking. Uh, however, g5, which was played in the game, is a horrendous mistake. If you didn't see it earlier, pause your video now, try to find it again. But what black did, knight e7, and the queen, embarrassingly, is just trapped. And Steinitz resigned. So kind of a kind of a crazy blunder there. The key question is, what's the best move? Well, Bishop H6 is nice, but D4 is the strongest move. Um, it's very hard to find this move, honestly. But the, the point is, if we can ever get a rook to C8, we're, we're pretty much winning. So like, like the I'm sorry, like if they try to take this pawn, rook C8 wins. Um, whereas if we go bishop h6, they actually can take this pawn now, and then go, I think rook takes, and there's really, this bishop h6 doesn't help the attack that much, believe it or not. But d4 creates a lot of ideas, it creates ideas of sometimes d5, uh, because if knight takes d5, queen e8 is a possibility. It creates ideas of g5, because before we couldn't play g5 because our queen was trapped. Because g5 is a very um, pleasant looking move. If they take, we take with a knight or the bishop, and all of a sudden our knight's in the attack, our knight on h3 that was previously doing nothing. After d4, let's say they play some defensive move like bishop f8, we can try g5. And as long as our bishop and knight are, are protecting the b-pawn, black has trouble taking it because of that back rank, uh, the back rank problems that I showed you earlier that still exist. So d4 turns out, it turns out d4 would have been the best move. However, this is a tough move to find. Um, but anything, almost anything is better than g5, simply blundering the queen to knight to e7. And Chagorin was up 4-2 to two after this game. How is Steinitz going to come back? Because we know he's the world champion. We know Chigura never was. So we'll see that over the next week or so. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys didn't go G5. And bye-bye.